Hey, I'm Kenton Dick, and I'm here at Our Bistro in Steinbeck. You want to take a look around the uh, beautiful dining room they've got going on. Of course, connected to the France Inn right at the east end of town. And of course, we are here for Burger Days. That's why Michelle Bizditney from the Steinbeck Chamber of Commerce, executive director there. That's why she's with us today. Mm -hmm. Dates. September 11th to the 18th. Right on. Be ready. Now, last year, this thing was... Uh, a, a wild success, maybe a little bit more than we kind of expected it to be. Yes, it's true. I heard from some uh, restaurant owners that said it was a little bit overwhelming, which is mm -hmm. a great sign. A good problem to have. But all that success means more people are involved this year. Yeah, we had 15 participants yeah. last year and uh, we have four editions, so we're up to 19 this year. 19 burgers, that's a, that's a lot of burgers to try to fit in the schedule. But that's actually why you should probably head over to the Steinbeck Chamber of Commerce website. Mm -hmm. You can check out what all of the burgers are and then you can kind of like make like a week plan as to how you're going to do burger days and make sure that you get every single one of them. Now we are here at our bistro and we're here for a reason and that's because, <laughs> ta-da! I'm going to call in the master chef of this beautiful burger, Samantha. Samantha, tell me what we have here. First off, what's its name and what's in it? We have this sweet whiskey barbecue or prime rib. We have arugula, mayo, tomato. We also have grilled pineapple with nicely fried jalapenos, a whiskey barbecue sauce that is house made with smoked tequila and a prime rib patty. I love the presentation. <laughs> that pineapple is a little extra special. And what do we have right here in the front? That is the fried, which one? Right here, these things. That is our fried jalapenos. Okay, so there's some spice on the burger and then some additional spice if you want. Yeah, it's a little bit of sweet and spicy. It's not too spicy at all. Tell me about the inspiration behind this burger. Why, why this? We decided to do something a little bit different this year. We wanted to add a little bit of extra sweetness into it. We haven't tried that yet, so we wanted to try this also with our caramelized onions. So add a little bit of an extra crunch with the jalapenos. Now, this is your first stab at doing a Burger Days burger in Steinbeck. Yes, it is. Are, are you, how are you feeling? Are you nervous? A little excited? I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also super excited to try it out this year. Well, we're super excited to try this one specifically. Let's get a knife out. Let's see what this thing looks like. And there it is. There's the cross section. Delicious. Now it's time to taste this thing. We're diving into these, uh, these sweet whiskey prime rib burgers. Mm -hmm. We are diving in. I love it because it's always the most unattractive shot mm -hmm. is us eating these burgers. But the first thing that we both notice is the sauce. And I'm told by Samantha, who's standing right next to the cameraman, that this is a house-made sauce, right? Absolutely. Mm. And the pineapple. Is the sauce well. and the pineapple. Yep, mm -hmm. totally. And then the huge, huge patty. It's really, it's a lot to handle. Like as a, as a, just in the fist, it's a lot, but it tastes really nice. And the sweetness and everything balances out mm -hmm. beautifully. Definitely going to get your money's worth here at our bistro. So absolutely put this on the list for burger days. Mm -hmm. And vote for your famous, famous, for your favorite mm -hmm. burger mm -hmm. in three different categories. Best tasting, most creative and best presentation. Absolutely. And I understand that the France has won, our bistro has won a few times. Yeah, they've done very well. Yeah, they've done very well. So uh, hashtag Steinbach Burger Days or visit the Steinbach Chamber website and vote for your favorite burger, September 11 to 18.